Good morning, my friends. It's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun, and today we're doing a weird little bit of video. Um, I have my flannel quilt that I've been working on loaded. I'm ready to stitch it. Um, if you are a fan of the channel and you follow me on social media, if you don't, you should. Adam So Fun with an S E W on Facebook and Instagram. But if you follow me there, you know I've been working on this flannel quilt, and I don't really like working with flannel after it. But whatever, I might change my mind someday. But um, yeah. I made this quilt specifically for another reason. If you haven't been on my lives or anything, I'm going to have a new uh, design set. It's called uh, the So Fun Swirl Set over at ProStitcher.com. It hasn't released yet, but I'm gonna. I wanted to make a quilt so I could stitch the designs, take some pictures, and then have them uploaded as examples of what they look stitched out. So um, it's ten swirls. Five of them are like the base design, all nice and circular and beautiful. And then the other five take those designs and kind of oblong them a little bit. Take them, distort them a little bit so they're not exactly swirls. And um, so I'm going to be stitching them out on this. It's kind of like a sampler. But I'm, gonna, I'm doing a really weird application on this. So um, I'm going to stitch like the left half with 1 through 5 and the right half with 6 through 10. And I need to get things lined up right. So this is going to be a very weird application with Pro Stitcher. But it's just something new. Something you might never do. But I want to show you that if you think outside the box, you do things a little bit different and you treat Pro Stitcher a little bit different when you understand what's going on. Um, um, you really can do anything you want. So uh, I thought I'd bring you along, show you what I'm doing. It's weird, but we're going to make it work. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Hey, if you don't, if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. Um, because then you didn't know this was dropping. This is definitely not something you're searching. It's very weird. Um, but I have done this application before in uh, not specifically like this, but with other things, maybe with the Clamorama set. It's similar to kind of what we did over there where we mix and match clams and things. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump up to the screen and we will get working on this because I got to get this quilted today because I leave tomorrow. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, everyone, here we are at our screen. And so what we're going to be doing is I need to open... These are my new designs. These are going to be the So Fun, for, so fun Swirl Set. Ten designs. You get a, uh, a little bit of everything. So what I want to do is I am going to open my design one. And I'm going to open design six. Because these are basically the same i'm zooming in i just hit zoom and did my thing um this these are kind of the same but not really so this is uh how the design set is going to be you are going to get we're going to hit that button there we go um so one of them is circled and one of them is more oblong so all of the circle designs also have an oblong one that goes with it um yeah I, it was a mistake and i liked how they looked so we're going to use those this is my area i've already set it up and basically i want to stitch this side of the screen the circle designs and this side or this side of my quilt circles this side of my quilt it, with the oblongs um so i'm going to check first i want to move that out of the way i'm going to pick this design i'm just going to say modify um or repeat fill i want to see how many things i can fit in my area so if i look at this i can look and let's see um i have 20 rows or i have 20 repeats across perfect which means i'm going to need um 10 of one 10 of the other and vertical i have 24 i have 10 des or I have, we're going to basically say five design sets so each um each row is going to have four. I think my quilt, I, I always make my quilt longer. So each row is going to have four and the last one can have a few extra. That's fine. Um, so that's, I just needed to get some info. I needed to see how many rows, how many columns. So I have 24 rows and 20 columns. Perfect. We're going to drop this back to one. We're going to drop this one back to one and we're going to start fresh. So I have design one. I want to take this design and I want to repeat this 10 times. So I'm going to go horizontal and I can hit the plus or I can just tap the number and hit 10. There we are. Now what we have here is we have 10 different pieces. I have 10 repeats until I baseline. So we're going to really important. We're going to baseline this. So now I have one new piece. This is one new design. So this is, we're pretending this is one design itself. So now I want to pick my second piece. We'll drag it over here so we can see it. 
and I want to go to my repeat tab. We're already there. Horizontal. We're already here. So repeat basic horizontal on the side and I'm going to type in 10. And then I'm going to baseline this. So now I have my first 10 repeats on the left, my second 10 repeats on the right. This is now just two designs. It might be 20 pieces, but it's only two designs now. So now I'm going to select my first design. And I want to put this one and this one. I want to combine them together to stitch continuously like there was no break. So we're going up to modify. I'm going to go to reposition in my ribbon. I want to take this time, this first design and I want to reposition end point. So whatever design is going first, we're going to reposition end point. I'll select my other one. I'm going to reposition start point. And now I'm going to hit select none. So now I have all the designs on my screen. I can't really move my machine. I can move it up a little bit, but I don't want to get you out of focus. So now I'm going to hit select all because I only have the two designs. We can see a start point here, end point here. If I go to my sidebar workspace tab, I can see that I have my two repeats, my repeat one and repeat, or uh, swirl one and swirl six. I want to baseline this. Now we have one new design. This is one piece, okay? So now what I want to do is I'm going to repeat because I want to offset these, but I can't offset them the normal way because one design is 10 pieces. One design is 10 pieces. It's not individual pieces. Again, this is something way advanced, um, but when you think outside the box, things you can do. So I'm repeat basic. I'm going to my vertical tab and I'm going to do one repeat because I want to offset these. Uh, we can't just come in. If I zoom into this, um, we're going to go to wrap, which is offset. And so if you see over here, we have the circles, we have the oblongs. Can you even tell that they're circles and oblongs? Kind of. We can zoom in some more. There we go. Circles, oblongs. Perfect. Now, if I go to my horizontal on my sidebar and I hit half, it's going to make these oblongs go over here. Watch this. So now I have circles, circles, oblongs, oblongs. Because basically, when I zoom out, I took this and I said, no, I want to shift it halfway. Halfway is that 10, um, that 10 mark. So we don't want that. I'm going to turn this back to zero. I'm going to zoom in again. I know each of these, the width of these designs is four inches. Uh, is that right? So... No, maybe it's four, let me, 2.25. Uh, um, oh, it's, they're uh, four and a half. So I wanted, um, so what I did, I'm thinking of how big the design is. If I just open one of the designs again, and I go to modify, resize, and I check my width. Oh, it is four. Okay, so I want uh, to go two. Basically, my design is four inches big. I want half of that because that's what uh, the normal half would have been. So let's just file close selected. We'll pick this one up again. There we go. And now I'm going to uh, repeat wrap and we'll zoom in so you can see. I want to shift these over halfway. So my row, I'm only going to shift it two because the design is four. And basically, if you see my crosshairs, the start is right here. That's the center of the next row. So this is now I have them offset. So now it's going to go circle oval, circle oval. So I want them to kind of zigzag and chevron down. So I'm going to zoom out and we can see we have some, um, some edges on the side. We're going to close those edges off. We don't want those. And I want to baseline this. And you're going to say, well, why did you just baseline the two? I can't keep offsetting this. If I, if I kept the offset with all four rows, I'd get a diagonal line. I'll show you that later. So here's my two. Now I'm going to go um, repeat basic, and I'm just going to make one vertical repeat. And now I get my four rows, and I get my little, uh, let's see, my zigzag of designs. So this side is still going to stay oblong, and that side is still going to stay circled. So there we are, four lines baseline. That's design one. So I'm just going to pick it and move it out of the way. And one other thing I'm going to do, workspace tab over here. I can still see that it's selected. Um, it's called repeat merge group. I'm going to hit rename, and I'm going to just clear that and hit one, because I want that one to stitch first. 
So now I'm going to know whenever I go in and set the next step up. So I'm going to file design open. I'm going to open two. And now two, four, and five, they're digitized a little bit bigger. There's more stitching in there, so they're actually digitized um, four by four and a half instead of three and a half by four. So because of that, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, so we're actually going to stitch, we're going to do one, and then we're going to stitch three, and then we'll come and stitch the rest of these just because I want the smaller one so it, it doesn't look off the whole time. The stitching on this is definitely going to look off. Um, because the different sizes and I'll show you that I'm going to set up one more so I'm going to open scroll two I'm doing the same thing um, but my first step is I'm going to come up to modify resize and I want the width I'm going to turn on my lock we'll zoom into the design I want my width to be four I want the same width on all these the height is going to be a little bit different but that's okay so my width is four um, and now my height is 3.55, so it's almost the same height. I can hit this one-to-one -one and see the true size. I like this size. Um, it is a little bit taller, but that will help us. So now I'm going to repeat, and I want to repeat this 10 times, and I want to baseline that. And then I'll go File, Design, Open, and that was two. So now I need, um, let's see, five, I need seven. So two and seven are the same. So basically one, two, three, four, and five are the same. And then six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are the same. This 10 being up there is just, oh, well, it's not gonna move it. So let's see, seven. I need to modify, resize, turn on my lock, keep my width, we want that at four. This is gonna make our offsets easier. Repeat, we're gonna repeat 10. I wanna baseline that, and now, those two designs are right on top of each other. If I zoom in, I can see that there's two things going on there. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave them there. I'm going to come to my workspace tab. I don't like to move things around a lot, and I can't move the screen right now, so this is going to make things a little bit easier. So here's my repeat swirl two. I'm going to select it. It doesn't look like I did anything, but I did. It shows me selected. I'm going to say modify, reposition, endpoint. I can pick my other design, I'm still on zoom, and say um, modify reposition start point. And that did move it a little bit. Um, now I'm gonna select none. This right here is select multiple. It is great, but you have to remember to turn it off. So I'm gonna come to workspace. I'm gonna pick my two. I'm gonna pick my seven. And you'll notice I'm not touching the screen inside my workspace. I'm doing all this over here. Turn this off. After you pick what you want, turn this off. I see that I'm stitching from the left to the right. Perfect baseline. And now once I'm here, I have my design set ready. I'll zoom in, regular one, circle one. So I'm gonna go repeat, vertical, one vertical repeat, wrap, and I don't know why it zooms out. I don't like that. So uh, repeat, wrap, horizontal, and I can change this to two. And I know now that's going to be, that's going to work and be the same as the ones above. Baseline. I'm going to undo that baseline. I'm zoomed in. I couldn't see this, but watch. I have jumps. I don't like those. You know me. I'm going to close my edges. Now I'm going to baseline. And then I can um, basic, or repeat, basic, one, vertical. And now I have that same zigzag baseline and I can select and move it out of the way. And now those are, oh, you know what? By changing the size, oh, that fixed it. Hey, that's great. Uh, modify, resize, I wanna see. So the height of this, I don't want the width, I want the height. The height of this design is 14. 0.2 and the height of this one I think is 14. So um, we'll have to do a little bit of adjusting, but I think that'll work. Great, so I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna make the other three sets really quick and then we'll see you back here in a minute. 
All right, so now I have all my design sets. They are not gonna fill this all the way, that's fine. Um, when I get to the end, if I need more rows, I can always just drag and drop them accordingly. But um, I'm gonna pick my first design. So this is number one. I can see I named them all one, two, three, four, and five. So number one is selected. I'm gonna go modify a line. I'm not skewing anything into this design or into this area because it'll distort those circles and I don't want that. So I'm gonna zoom to area so I can see. And with the line selected, a line uses my area as a guide I'm gonna align horizontal center I'm gonna stick it in the center and I want to do vertical top so it's going to put it on the top in the center I make my area much bigger so even though I don't go to the lines on the outside I'm gonna be okay because I probably have two inches to play with so I am going to baseline this so there's design one also I want to look and I want to see that if this height is 14 so what I want to do is I'm going to go to or I'm going to go to reposition and I'm going to change my nudge to 14. I'm going to hit enter and you'll see why we do that in a second. Now I'm going to select my number two. I know it's right here, but I can just come and tap two. I'm going to go modify a line. So modify tab, align in the ribbon, center and top. And now when I go to reposition, I can just push down and it will line it up perfect because I moved it 14 inches down, which is the whole width of that first design. Um, so now if I go to resize, this row is 14.22. So I can change my, um, my reposition down to 28.22. So I'm gonna say 28.22, enter. I'm gonna come to my workspace tab, pick number three. Modify a line. I'm going to say horizontal center, vertical top, reposition, and I can just move it down. And now that one is lined up perfect. And um, you could baseline these. This isn't even letting me baseline, so it's fine. Um, if I go to resize, I know this one's 14. So now we're at uh, 28, 38, 38, 44, 42. Is that right? 42.22. So I'm going to go to reposition. 28, 38, 39, 44, 1, 4, 2. So 42.22, enter. And now I'm going to pick my next design, which I know is that one, but we'll just continue with the thing, uh, with our pattern. So modify a line, center top, and I can go reposition and just push it down. And now I'm gonna have to, this is also gonna be 14.22 because it's one of the weird ones. So reposition, so, um, 14, uh, 42, 52, 56.44. 4. And now I can grab this last one, modify, align, center, top, reposition, nudge it down, baseline. Can't baseline it. So now I have all of my rows. Everything looks good. I'm going to just zoom this in. Um, and let's see, zoom in. So now all my spacing is fine. I can hit this magnifying glass one to one. It's gonna show me the true size of what these designs are gonna look like stitched out. This is great. This is kind of what I'm looking for. And I can just go, we get to stitch them out. So I'm going to uh, just stitch this out. You'll see a big gap at the bottom. Right now, um, I'm about 70 inches tall, so I'm missing about 10 inches. I know I'm gonna have to add some more rows down here. That's fine, I think. Ultimately, these are like 75, so I might get some extra swirl rows uh, of this swirl, the um, 5 and 10. I'm okay with that. That does not bug me. I'm more interested in getting all of these stitched out. So when I get to the end, I'll just add rows. So um, that's a little bit of a funky thing. Um, kind of creating your own designs, creating your own edge to edges, and uh, just like really using Pro Stitcher the way that it can be used. Um, one thing I wanna do, I have everything selected. I don't wanna baseline this yet. I can see some jumps going diagonal in here. I'm gonna go to my workspace tab and see right here it says two, three, four, five, one. That means it's starting here with row two and then it's gonna, it's gonna do this section, this section, this section, this section, come back to the top. I want to change the stitch out order and if I hit this I'll see that it goes um, I'm in my sidebar workspace tab I'm in my group because everything's selected I can see that it goes two three four five one and I can just hit up and as I hit up I can see jumps and things change hard for you to see on the screen but now I can see that it's going one two three 
four, five, and now I will baseline that. And I'm ready to start stitching. So, all right, and so that's that. All right, guys, so this is, like I said, something very funky. You are probably never gonna use an application like this. This is super specific to kind of demo some new designs that I'm coming out with. But I have, like I said, used it with clams to give more interest to the clamshells, to use different clamshell designs, especially this Clamorama designs from Pro Stitcher, um, where you can use different ones and create like different patterns and stuff. So, um, you know, if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S-E-W on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I try to, a lot of stuff goes there that doesn't fit here. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Happy stitching, everybody. And what I always say at the end of the day is just quilting. We want to have a good time, even if we're doing something funky. We'll see you in the next one.